Hello and welcome to this tutorial on sorting lists. Now as you can see at the top here, I've just made a list. I've called it names because hey, guess what? It has names in it. So always try and name a list or a variable um, something that makes sense. So if you've got a high scores list, probably makes sense to call it high scores rather than X or Z. Makes your life a lot easier when you come back later and try and debug your code. So as it's a names list, I've called it names, but obviously you could choose something different. This is just a name for my list. So I've got the equal sign, that's vital. You need that to declare a list. And then open to square bracket, and I've got each of the names in speech marks because these are a variable type called string, which is just basically text. And between each name, I've got a comma. Again, that's important because that separates each of these into individual items within my list. And finally, I've closed the square bracket. Now, the sort function, you can use it just like I have here. You use the name of the list, so whatever you've called the list, you put that there. Then a full stop, a dot, then the word sort, and open and close brackets. And that in Python is brilliant, because it will sort my list into alphabetical order with just that single line of code. How simple is that? Now finally, just to make it look a bit neater, I'm printing it out, but first I've got in speech marks, sorted alphabetically, and again the comma, you must have that, so it'll print the contents of the list afterwards, and that's names, because again, I've called it names, if you call it something else, then that name will have to go in there. Okay, let's run this and see if that works. Here we go. And beautiful, there we have it. There's our list sorted alphabetically, as you can see there. We've got Abby first, then Ben, Fred, Jeff, Terry and Zach. And as you can see, it's changed the order into alphabetical. Perfect. Job done. Now the next thing I'm going to show you today, I'm just going to quickly comment that out. This is a really useful way of commenting code out, by the way, so you can run different bits of code at a time. You literally just go up to Format, and you can either comment out, uncomment, you can indent entire regions, do lots of stuff in there. It's really useful. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uncomment this next bit of line that I wrote a few minutes ago. So I'm going to uncomment that region, and then I'm going to show you this next thing. Now here I've got like a scores list, a list of scores. It could be high scores for a game, it could be student scores, perhaps for quizzes that they've taken. And again, I've said it equal, which you must have, so name of the list, the equal sign, open the square bracket. Now you'll notice this time I haven't used speech marks around these because I don't want these to be um, string variables. I don't want them to be stored as text. I want them to be stored as whole numbers, integers in other words, so that they can represent scores, so that perhaps later we could do some maths on them if we wanted to. Again, each number, each student score is just separated out with a comma. Must have that between each score, so they go in separately into our list. And as you can see, they're not in any particular order. Okay. Then I've got this brilliant little line of code here, scores.sort, open and close bracket. Again, notice it's exactly the same name as our list. That's important. We must have the same name here and here because we want to sort this particular list. And finally, in a similar way to how I showed you, I'm using the print statement, sorted by uh, lowest to highest, and then a comma, and then the name of the list again. So if I run this now, you'll see what happens. And there we have it. So it's sorted now from lowest score up to the highest score. Now that's great, but sometimes you want to have the highest score first going down to the lowest. For example, if this was a high score table, well you don't want the lowest score at the top of the list, you want the highest score. So let me show you a quick and easy way of doing that. We're just going to uncomment these next two lines of code just to show you something we can do to fix that. So uncomment, and did it twice, but there we go, uncomment again. So this next line of code, scores.reverse, open and close brackets, what this will do, again in just one line of code, it will reverse the entire list. So this will now take it from being lo from lowest to highest, to highest to lowest, which is exactly what we want. And again, I've just got a print line here to show you um, the contents of the list printing out. So let's run it. You can press F5 there if we want. We're on the save time. 
here we go so sorted from lowest to highest see it's worked just like it did before and now highest to lowest so this would be great for example for a high scores table or if you wanted to like show the student the highest score in the class first that would do the job nicely brilliant now other times you might want to find for example you might want to just print out the highest mark or the highest score in a game so you'd want to be able to basically um, just pick out the maximum value in that list so I'll just comment out this little bit for the moment just so all the prints don't confuse us and I'll uncomment this next section here we go right so what you can see here I've got max value equals scores square bracket zero just going to uncomment that just realized I'm going to need that now what's going to happen here it's going to go go ahead go to the list called scores and it's going to print it's going to save into a new variable we've called max value whatever is in position zero of the list now that might sound a bit weird surely it should start at one no in Python and in almost every language that I can think of, certainly everyone that I know, lists or arrays always start at zero. So the first position in the array, rather than one, is position zero. Weird, but true. Trust me on this. So we want the zeroth position in our list, which as we've sorted the list and we've now reversed the list, that will contain our highest score. And we'll take that out of the list by using these square brackets that indexes into the list and stores it in a variable that we've created called max value simple enough and finally just like you saw before we're gonna print that out nicely formatted with the contents of the max value variable which should be if this code works 99 let's put it to the test I'm gonna just hit F5 this time speed here we go. Maximum value after sorting into highest to lowest is 99. Perfect. Done. Now, that works, but to make that work, you have to first sort the list, and then you have to reverse the list. So you're using basically three lines of code just to find the max value. Okay, Works a treat, but what if we want to do it a slightly smarter way? So let's format this out comment it out and uncomment these last two lines here there we go now this is a clever little inbuilt function in Python now all I'm doing here again I'm just making a variable I've called it maximum because it's going to be the maximum value from the list equals max max and then in brackets the name of the list which we've called scores and then finally I'm printing it out just like I've shown you a few times already so if I run this in theory, what it should do is go through the entire list, find the maximum value, store it in our variable called maximum, and then print it out. So, let's put it to the test. Bingo. It's worked beautifully. It's found the highest value in the list, which is 99, as you can see here, and it's printed it out for us. So that is a lovely little one-liner for finding a maximum value. There we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, which has shown you how to sort lists alphabetically, how to sort lists from lowest to highest scores. It's shown you how to sort from highest to lowest. And finally, it's shown you two different ways of finding the maximum value of a list, one after sorting and one without sorting. OK, have fun with that. Bye for now.